What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? I hope that your day is going fine. If not, I hope tomorrow gets better. I'm going to start out this video by simply saying, when a person show you who they are, believe them. When a person tell you who they are, believe them. See, a lot of times we like to overlook signs and we like to say, oh, it's just the benefit of the doubt or they didn't mean it like that. Today I'm going to say when a person show you who they are, believe them. I'm just going to show you a little bit of this video. I'm going to give you like almost a minute. White women love black men because of the power dynamic, because white women have never had any power over men in their lives. Because obviously all the white men in their life have always had all the power over them. So white women have whiteness over black men. And obviously to be in any sort of like control feels good, especially when you're used to never being in control. White women feel safe with black men, not only because of the hyper masculinity that they believe black men exhibit, but because of the whiteness and power they hold over black men. This is why also white women can still be racist and be with black men and be like conservative white women will be like married to a black man. And this is why white women love their black sons and hate their black daughters. Black sons give you access to the patriarchy. They give you power, whereas black daughters don't. Why, I've never heard such a thing. Now, I I'm going to say this. Believe that. It's some people who think like that. If she didn't think like that, she would have never said that. So I honestly believe she think this way. She has to think this way. She has processed this. She has went into her feelings and understood her feelings on this. And she believed it. Now, I can't say that she's speaking for all people in interracial inter relationships. I know a lot of people in interracial relationships, black and white. And for her to say this and, and, and for her to have this thought pattern and this thought process, something, something is wrong there. And I believe there's some truth to it. For some people, but I can't say all. She said white women, like she's speaking for everybody. I know white women who have not spoken to their families because they were in relationships with black men. Now, I can't say that uh, they're trying to create a patriarch. I can't say that because... Some of the people I know in a relationship, in a racial relationships, don't even have children. In this case, I believe there's two people love each other. Now, I first saw this video on it's a young lady, and uh, I believe she's a conservative, a black conservative. She's a younger um lady, but she's real sparky. She got that spark with her, and, and she was up there trying to defend. Not defend it, but oppose this this thought process. But I, I I don't even see a reason to oppose it. I feel like you should listen to what she's saying and believe what she's saying and believe that it's people like this. And just in case you are or you planning to be in a relationship that's interracial, you should check and make sure that you're not dealing with somebody like this. Because this is evil. This is selfish. This I don't even see this uh, being a relationship that will prosper. Because sooner or later, that N-word going to slip out. If you're dealing with somebody like this, that N-word going to slip out. <laughs> yeah. I cannot sit here and tell you the, the white women who I know that are in relationships with black men I don't feel like they think like this. I believe she think like this. I believe there's something going on up here. I don't know what her motives are. I don't know who raised her. But the people that I know, and, and let me tell you like this, I don't hang around a lot of people. I have small circle. You know, but the people I 
feel like I know appear to be genuine. I, I feel like the people I know appear to be genuine. You know what I'm saying? But this, this, this rhetoric, I don't know. But she was bold enough to come out and say it, which is a good thing because I look at social media a lot. And I'm glad that some of these people are as bold as they are. I'm glad that they are as brave as they are to come out and say some of the things that go on in their mind because it sheds light. It gives us insight. It gives us information. And see, back, back in the days, you ain't have so many people. You couldn't hear people's thoughts as much. Now you hear everybody's thoughts. You see what everybody thinking. You hear what they're thinking. They're going to tell you. And it's all out there. This is indeed the information age. But I'm glad when people like this speak because you know how, how they are. You know, don't, don't take it as, oh, she's just saying that to give light. No, that's how she is. That's who she is. And believe me, you, if she's like that, there's more people out there like that. But you ain't going to see the good people, the genuine people who are really not like this. You ain't going to see them. You ain't going to hear that story. You ain't going to hear that story because it's overshadowed by this. I'm not mad at it. I'm, I'm glad she spoke her mind. I'm glad she allowed us to see her heart. You know, because if, if it's in your heart, it's going to come out of your mouth. How people, how people really feel about you, oh, it's going to come out their mouth sooner or later. They can only hold it so much. And only take one thing to trigger that. Now, I don't know her backstory or none of that, but I'm glad she said what she said. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you feel about it. And you know, this, this, this really showing me I can't get mad about certain things no more. When it comes down to any situation, I, I, I'm the person that needs to listen and observe. As much as it may upset me, as much as it may make me look at a person different, as much as it may make me cringe, I'm able to listen and decipher and decide how I'm going to process that information. Oh, and I'm not going to be biased. I'm going to believe what you said. <laughs> I, had, I had a friend one time going through some things, right? He was going through some things, and I asked him a flat-out question straight to his face, looked him in his eyes, asked him a question. He looked at me in the eyes and gave me an answer. Only to come back a few months later to find out that he was lying. Looked me in my face and lied. Now, when he, when he said what he said to me, I had no reason to believe that he would lie to me. So I'm going to take you at your word. That's how I was raised. I'm old school. I'm going to take you at your word. Whatever you're telling me, I'm going to believe. Now, you ain't finna give me a, a, a turd on the ice cream cone and tell me it's ice cream. Now, I got common sense. I'm talking about as far as you giving me information and me receiving that information. And if I, if I feel like you ain't got no reason to lie to me, I'm going to believe what you said. I have no reason to believe that you're lying. But once I found out that you lied to me, now I'm looking at you different. I'm going to still treat you right. But I'm looking at you different. So I'm glad people are speaking their mind. Because you get to see what type of people you should be around and what type of people you should watch out for. Yeah. Let me know what you feel about it. Drop it in the comment section. Until the next time, peace.